The DNA test results prove the child in question, Thomas John McBain, is the biological son of Todd Manning. <laughs> Your Honor, I move that the child be immediately turned over to the custody of Mr. Manning. Your Honor, we have ample grounds for the court to deny Mr. Manning custody and allow the boy to stay what? with the McBains. <laughs> what are the grounds, Ms. Schulman Brown? Todd Manning is an unfit parent and should not be allowed anywhere near Thomas McBain, especially since Mr. Manning has already tried to kill the child. That is crazy, Your Honor. That's exactly the kind of what behavior you I was talking shut up, about, bitch. Your Honor. Hey, Todd, 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 everything you can't do. It's my child. Stop it, Where he belongs. Todd. You try to do this, I swear to God. Mr. Manning? Or you're what, Mr. Manning? Strangle them, shoot them. Those are the things you tried to do to Tommy McBain. This is the animal petitioning for parental rights over a toddler, Your Honor. Ruling in his favor is like giving that baby a death sentence. You two think you're such good people. Dad, please stop. Dad, 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 sit down, Star. You are making her case for her. Now, if you don't stop, you're never going to bring my brother home. Come on. Sorry, Your Honor. Please forgive me. Your Honor, my client has apologized for his conduct, but we were blindsided by this unfair and spurious attack on his character. These charges aren't spurious, Your Honor. They're documented facts. How is that? Po How could I have tried to kill him? I have never been alone with him. Mr. Manning, I'm warning you. One more outburst like that, and you'll be hearing my decision from inside of a jail cell. What my client says is correct. How can counsel possibly back these charges up? Ms. Shulman Brown? With a lot of good old-fashioned sworn testimony. If I may, I'd like to read it into the record. You can be. Your Honor. Nothing trumps the fact that Mr. Manning is this boy's biological father. He never signed away his rights as father because he wanted to find and raise his son. Now this nullifies the McBain's adoption of the child they call Tommy. What do you have to say to that, Ms. Shulman Brown? Biology is one thing. The child's welfare is another. As I know, Your Honor is aware. When a child is too young to speak on his own behalf, the standard to be applied is what is in the best interests of the child. The guardians to whom Tommy McBain is appointed must be proven fit. It is incumbent upon the court to review any evidence that calls into question a potential parent's suitability. What is she talking about? Oh, evidence. Don't I'll let you make your case, but I don't have any patience for theatrics. I'll let the facts speak for themselves. This is a sworn deposition given by Dr. Spencer Truman regarding his treatment of patient Todd Manning for a stab wound he received in August of 2005. Objection. State your grounds. This is a clear breach of Dr. Patient confidentiality. Your Honor, the statement is a matter of public record in another trial. Surely it's admissible. Go ahead. Cannot let her talk about this. I don't have a choice. I've been overruled. In this statement, Mr. Manning confessed to Dr. Truman that he had been stabbed by a woman named Margaret Cochran. At the time, Ms. Cochran was pregnant by Mr. Manning and was defending herself. Upon learning that she was pregnant, Mr. Manning tried to strangle her to death. Objection! Dr. Truman is dead, which means there is no possibility for a cross-examination. And these are the ravings of a man who was ready to let Todd Manning be executed for Ms. Cochran's murder when he knew for a fact Ms. Cochran was still alive. You better have something better than this, Counselor. Of course, Your Honor, and I do. Dad. Dad. Hey. Don't let that lawyer get to you. Threw me a little curve, but I'm okay. Man. All right, let's get on with this. Todd Manning hated his child's mother, a very unstable woman. Our point is that he lost control and could have killed her on three separate occasions in spite of the fact that she was pregnant with his child. Objection! This is irrelevant. Overruled. Connect the dots, counselor, and do it quickly. I'd like to read a section from the transcript. This is the defense during cross-examination. Why did you go down to the lake that night, Mr. Manning? I was going to kill her. By his own admission, under oath, 
He went to Lantano Lake to kill a woman who was obviously pregnant with his child. He could not separate the mother from the child. He could not spare the mother in order to protect the child. Objection. Ms. Cochran died in an automobile accident. My client did not kill her. Make your point. Tommy is not the child of a loving relationship. Mr. Manning proved three times that he had no self-control when it came to his child's mother. What if Mr. Manning is awarded custody and he finds that he can't look at his son without seeing Ms. Cochran and the things that she did? What if Tommy begins to remind him of Ms. Cochran? What if Tommy has a bad reaction to being taken away from Dr. and Mrs. McBain? What if he acts out or misbehaves? Will Mr. Manning lose control again and forget he's dealing with a child? Why take that chance? Leave Tommy with Michael and Marcy McBain. They are loving parents and the only ones Tommy's ever known. Don't give him to the man who didn't care if he died. We would also like to request psychiatric evaluations for the two other children in Mr. Manning's custody, oh. Star and Jack. All right, that's it. You know, there's nothing wrong Silence. with Jack and Silence. Star. There's Sit nothing wrong down. with them. I'm going to call a recess, and I strongly suggest everyone in this room use that time to collect themselves. The bailiff will stay here to keep order. All rise. I'd say it's a whole new ball game. Judy, look, um, can we afford to back off right now because... Uh... Not if we want to win. Morgan is right. Todd's rights as a father are undeniable. The only chance we have is to crucify him. Why are you letting this bitch get away with calling me a kid killer? She's doing the only thing she can. Dad. Put me on the stand. What? I can show that judge what kind of father you really are. She's asked for the psych consult. We could put Star on the stand and try to say it isn't necessary. And you think that she's going to go easy on Star because Star's a kid? I no think way. I can take care of myself, Dad. Honey, you know that I haven't exactly led an exemplary life. And they're going to force all that out of you and make you admit it all happened. Even when all of it did, we got through it. No matter how furious I was, I never doubted for one minute that you loved me or that I loved you. Isn't that being a good father? <laughs> I just don't want you to hear all this garbage. Liz, I'll, uh, I'll take her home. No, come on. Hey, really, if you want to help me, you should go. No! Yes, Star. Come on, grab your purse. Todd, you hang tight. I know that you two love my little brother, but what you're doing is wrong. Dad is not the person that you're saying he is. Star, I'm, I'm really sorry. I am. I know that you're upset, but we're just doing what we have to for our son. Come on, Star. Let's go. seeing things. And Dorian is at Lodi's and she's drinking a beer? No, I'm talking about her hair. Come on. Hey, everyone. <laughs> like strange. Oh, hey. Hi. Hey. 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 Pull up a chair. You look very interesting, Dorian, and you're drinking a beer. Yeah, at lunch. <laughs> I thought I'd broaden my horizon. <laughs> Where have you two been? We were at the courthouse with Todd. What happened? Well, the DNA test results came in, and Tommy is indeed Todd's son, so that's great. Yeah, and then the McBain's lawyer came in with information on Margaret and my dad. 
she made it seem like my dad was the psycho and Margaret was the victim. Oh yeah, and then she said that my dad was trying to kill the baby when really he was just trying to protect himself. Okay, you know what? Your dad will get a chance. No, the lawyer didn't even see that coming, Mom. It was ridiculous. I know, I know. This is what you did? I don't know what you're talking about. You know, you said you had a little something for Marcy and Michael. Rex? Rex, you did this to Todd? Yeah, it was me. You suck. Hi, 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 I know what your father went through the minute his son was born. And so do you, Rex. He hired you to help him find him. What are you doing? You're, you're working for Michael and Marcy's attorney? That's right, and I do it again. You better not do it. Oh, no, you oh, hey, 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 I'm going to take it to the alley and I'm going to bust up this page, boy. Calm down, Blair, Would all you right? you tell me to calm down? Where's your family loyalty, Adriana? I have loyalty. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Okay. I see what Todd has put you and the kids through, and I don't want this baby to go through the same thing. Well, are you we love each other. We are a great family. Everybody. Oh, oh, Excuse me. Roxanne, Rex, would you mind leaving us alone, please? What? You heard me. Please leave us alone. This is a family problem. Girls, we need to have a Kramer woman meeting. No, we're meeting. not having a meeting. Oh, okay. yes, we are. No, meeting. Meeting. I guess it's a little early for you to be taking a part to Plaza for Adriana. Okay, let's try to keep this down. I do not like seeing Kramer women at each other's throats. Well, then they shouldn't start bar fights. So you're in your little taggy boyfriend that started. What? Mm -hmm. Okay, keep it down, both of you. Listen up. Each of you can get to ask a question or make a statement. Then you'll wait for the other to speak. That is the only way that we are going to work out this problem. Blair, you are the oldest. You go first. Todd is the father of my children, Adriana. And he needs our help. And you need to make a decision. You're either with us or you're with Rex. Oh, please, Blair, everyone in this town knows what Todd has done, and anybody could have done what Rex did. Anybody could have done Adriana, what? Pardon me. Blair was not finished speaking. Let her speak, then you get your turn. This little case is between Todd and Michael and Marcy McBain. Rick shouldn't have stuck his nose in it. I have a daughter here. You see what it's doing to her? If you're with Rex, I'm not going to have anything to do with you. Blair? I mean it, Dorian. You the dump Rex. As far as I'm concerned, you're not part of this family. On the next One Life to Live. I told you not to come. How could I not? Why did you do that? Just trying to get you to stop talking. If I find out that Rex has done anything else, it's going to have to answer to me. I swear to tell the whole truth and nothing but the truth.